As with decimal multiplication, there are a few simple models that can be used to represent decimal division, including base 10 blocks and decimal grids or 10 by 10 grid paper. Have students use base 10 blocks to model and solve decimal by whole number division. With a whole number divisor, students can relate these problems to the whole number partitive interpretation of division, that of dividing amounts into equal sized groups. For example, using base 10 blocks, students can solve problems such as 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5, or what is 2 and 5 tenths divided into 5 equal sized groups. Have students use base 10 blocks to represent the dividend, 2 and 5 tenths, or 25 tenths, and then have students form five equal sized groups. Students can then determine that there are 5 tenths in each group. So 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5 is 5 tenths. Use problems such as these to introduce students to the algorithm for decimal division. Students need to have multiple experiences with these types of problems to develop a meaningful understanding of decimal division and to use the algorithm in a meaningful way, rather than just trying to apply the whole number long division algorithm and then trying to figure out where to place the decimal point in the quotient. Problems such as these can be used with real-life examples of situations that involve decimal division to provide meaningful context for students. For example, five friends went out to lunch. After paying their bill, they ended up with an extra $2.50. Since there were five people splitting the bill, how much money should each person get back? Each person should get back... 50 cents. 2 dollars and 50 cents divided by 5 is 50 cents. Students can also use 10 by 10 grid paper to model and solve decimal division problems. For example, to model a problem such as 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5 tenths, because there is a decimal divisor, Begin by reviewing with students the measurement interpretation of division. How many groups of 5 tenths are in 2 and 5 tenths? Students begin by shading grid paper to show 2 and 5 tenths. Students next cut the shaded squares and divide them into equal sized groups of 5 tenths. Students then count to see how many equal-sized groups of 5 tenths were formed from 2 and 5 tenths. There are 5 groups of 5 tenths in 2 and 5 tenths, or 2 and 5 tenths divided by 5 tenths is 5. As with decimal multiplication, students need to develop a conceptual understanding of the meaning of decimal division and of the algorithms used to solve these problems. Also, as with decimal multiplication, real-life examples of decimal division should be used to help students develop a meaningful context for these situations. And finally, just as with decimal multiplication, students need to use estimation to check the results of decimal division for reasonableness. By doing all of this, students should have a successful and meaningful experience with decimal division.